we back in another video. We doing another girl's talk video for you guys. Y'all quiet, it's finally the fuck, babe. It's been a damn minute. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. My damn chuck. <laughs> Y'all, I checked y'all, and this bitch ain't been on the channel in a month and a half. I feel like a That's how long it's been. Y'all, I've been having so much shit going on. It's just crazy. I am right, eventually going to tell y'all about it, but at this point, I'm not going to talk about it. <laughs> We're going to talk about y'all. Okay. Questions. So, we going to start the video. We, I, uh, our prayer, and we're going to get into the video. Quiz and prayer. Y'all, bye, y'all. Oh, all right. Lord, thank you for bringing us together here today. And how's gas? It's gas. Y'all, it's going crazy. But let this food be a notion to our body. And thank y'all for the people around us. Thank y'all for supporting us. Thank you for y'all just letting us be here today. Thank you, Lord. Because it could have been us. Yes. Um, Pray us for your cane. I can't even get the name out. You crane. Your, your crane, cane. Y'all know what I mean. Um, but let's go ahead and eat. Amen. Period. Oh, I couldn't talk right now. So, y'all um, know what we have here. So okay, y'all. If you didn't watch our cooking video, cause I think we're going to put that one out first and then come with this video. Yes. So, um, we could. Can I tell you what we could? Uh, we could asparagus, uh, some steak, some fried steak, some potatoes. Shout out to Frank because y'all, he could hell out some potatoes. Some potatoes and our shrimp in front of us. I, I cooked this uh, shrimp this time, y'all. Lord, have mercy. Do the face spray. Oh, you can't even just in time. Oh, yes. Okay. He smelled that rain. And quit me, her sauce. Oh, girl. Look, we can't tilt it. Can we fall out? So, I ain't going to tell y'all the topic anyway. Okay, so the topic is. Oh, before you say that, I'm sorry. I got to show y'all my delicious Minute Maid fruit punch. Shout out to you, Minute Maid. It's been a minute and I made it. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so the topic is um, what did you learn slash take away from your relationship? Y'all got my opinion, but I feel like Quaya would be better answer than I just question because she been in a long relationship and she, you know, had things going on her that it's been long and stuff. You ain't got to tell everything that happened. You want to just say what you learned, stuff that you took away from me. Like, oh, I'm making a mess. Let me put this down. <laughs> but what did you learn so I took away from your last relationship? Um, What I have recently learned is trying to manage my money better. Um, actually being around people, I learned how to actually pay my bills ahead of time. Um, I learned that you can't, uh, take everything for granted, even if they try to apologize. So what you're saying about. is, don't depend on a man to pay your bills. Oh yeah, don't depend on a man. I have, I'm not going to even sit here and lie. I have. And I'm not saying that, uh, every man is like that. I'm not saying every woman is like that. But, um... That's what I really have learned. Because it was tough. I was going through a lot of stuff with him. Like, I was stressed out. My hair was falling out. Um, How long was your relationship? For four years. Mm. Um, whew. Mom, I'm to drop them nails. Mm. Ooh, Ooh. The potatoes about to roll. I don't know about that. Hmm. Hold on. Okay. Whew. Okay, go ahead. Go oh, I'm going to do another one because I don't want this up there. Okay. Go ahead. Um, but yeah, I have learned a lot, dude. You cannot depend on no man. And you have to be self-dependent because I was going through a lot. Like I said, uh, my hair fell out. I was uh, losing weight. I was actually pregnant and I had a miscarriage. So, yeah, I was going through a lot. Like, a lot. Um, I learned that you don't need to let, like, things stress you out. Especially if you want to get it done. Just go ahead and do it. I have learned that, uh, like, 
for real out through the years. Go ahead and get it in there. Um, I like, like a couple of things, yeah. And I feel like. I feel like in a relationship, y'all give and y'all take things from each other too because in your next relationship, it'll be things that you learn from your last and then from your new relationship, it's going to be things, some new things you might learn or you take away because everybody's different. You're not going to have the same experiences with every person you date or relationship with. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So... So, um, are you happier now that y'all, you know, aren't together and stuff like that? Yes, um, because I have done so much better. I mean, before I moved and stuff, I was doing so much better. And I was actually getting more healthier than I was. And as you can see, if you see me eating, that's because that's happy weight, child. <laughs> I was literally losing it. I was depressed, all that stuff. It was just like, I was going through so much because it's only so much that you could take up with a person. Mm -hmm. And like, once we got into that last one, it just like took over. Like, I wanted to be out of my body. But then I said, I told myself, because I was in a situation where I was stuck between either going home or staying where I was. And I chose to stay because something just told me like, don't give up on yourself because... It's going to be one of those times where if you are home, you're going to have to, like, move it up. Because you can't be there for... You can't be home forever. Your parents are not going to be here forever. So, you're going to have to learn how to be dependent one day. Because it's going to be one of those days where you're going to want your own. It's going to be one of those days where you want to have it all. So, in order enough for you to be in that stage, you have to be able to be dependent by yourself. Mm-hmm. So, and that's what made me, like, really realize, like, okay, Quay, you got to step your game up because you're not going to let this person that you was talking to let you down. Don't mm -hmm. let have your downfalls. You got goals. Let yourself achieve them. Push mm -hmm. yourself if you have to. You know, don't let it stress you out because it's going to be bumps in the road. So, mm -hmm. let yourself be confident enough to even get where you want to go. Like I always say, don't depend on nobody to do nothing else for you. If you mm -hmm. want to get, if you want something to get done, a lot of things you gotta do it yourself. You can't trust everybody. Oh, you can't trust everybody with assignment. You can't. Mm -mm. And um, what I want to tell you is, I'm proud of you. I feel like you've grown ever since y'all sat me together. I'm sorry, y'all just think. Um, I feel like you're a better person now that y'all are not together. We ain't gonna say his name because we don't we don't get him top of time. We ain't, he ain't we ain't getting no check from him. Anyway. <laughs> so part. um that part. And I don't like him. I didn't I really didn't like y'all when I tell y'all I really didn't like him for her because it was just too toxic. And if she, if she want to do a story time, a video about herself or something like that, or if I'm there and she want to talk and do a story time on some of the stories what happened in her relationship, then that's what she wants to do. Okay? That's, if she want to do that, that's her time to do that. To do a story time. But, y'all... I'm sorry, y'all. I got to put this up in my hand because this is the only way I'm going to eat this asparagus. Trying to be bougie and pick it up with a fork, I'm gonna mess up. I'm sorry. But good with the fingers. Yeah, I really wanna say that you grown friend, like you watch you were looking stressed. You weren't looking a hot mess, but you were looking stressed. Okay. There's a difference. And then y'all, when I told my friends I was pregnant, I was excited. But then again, I was just like, I'm scared, I'm worried because I did not know. And the only reason well, I'm gonna talk about that well with you, but for those who know what a miscarriage is, mm -hmm. like it was painful. Very. Let me not say that like I experienced one, but I heard it was painful to laugh and stressful and stuff like that going through that because losing a baby is heartbreaking for real. Um, 
the person did not want to achieve goals and I was just not about to sit there and let you let my dreams go to waste because it's things that I want in life. You want to sit here and let your life rock? Life is too short and life is choice driven. I'll be damned mm -hmm. if I'm going to just sit there and let my life go to waste and not go get what I want. It might not come to you when so you want you it to, but I'm going to get up and go do it. Another thing that you learn from your relationship is that you want to find so I want more. The next question is what you want in your new relationship. So you want somebody that's wants to elevate with you. Right. Instead of being still down here while you up here. Uh-huh. I feel like you shouldn't find somebody that still want to be at the bottom. You want somebody that want to grow with you, not keep you down there with them. With my little relationship, I want somebody that's already either there and they can teach me how to get where they are or somebody that's willing to build with me. Build together, right. And Mr. Millie, right now, I'm always be there, so bitch, yeah. I ain't gonna play. All right. I ain't all he I can give you all he can give you is the thing I'm like, which I wouldn't do is be brother on full full. Okay, that's what they made towards. Okay, bye. Anyway. <laughs> oh, fam. What? You you put some sugar in there, Dan. Mm hmm. I can tell you on that. I know how to make it spicy. I'm about to choke on this dang on steak. <laughs> it's the fat, y'all. I cannot. I'm on my plate Put plan. it right back on the issue of. Oh, you so told like that like asparagus love. Like a mop. Was it that good for real? What? Yeah, asparagus. Yes. Friend, you know if I don't like something, I'm not going to eat it. Well, yeah, you right. I'm like, friend, you're going to listen to you. You're going to be fooled because you're doing that in them drink. I'm trying to avoid that. But the potatoes, they hitting y'all. I thought I ate all of these. Y'all, I do want y'all to know that if you are gonna get in a new relationship, know where your um make are. sure you're ready. Don't rush into things. Like somebody was telling me that um somebody in my family that um how they was trying to rush relationship like they was already asking them to um provide for them and um get them money and stuff like that i feel like y'all should work I'm on things like that not um i'm stressing y'all hold up okay. not don't rest in two things because you rest in two things you're gonna be wondering who that person is because you're not really getting to know that person y'all just rushing don't rush don't some people rushing to get married and stuff like that don't rush to get married i mean Especially, some people say don't settle down till you're 25. I feel like you should settle down when you're ready to settle down. Because I feel like, because this one person I was talking to, they told me they had a girlfriend. I'm looking like, well, I'm not about to talk to you have a girlfriend. I was like, you, so you like to cheat? And they was like, yeah. I said, what was the point of you being in a relationship if you're going to cheat? I said, for me, if... If you're going to cheat on me, go ahead and break up with me because I don't want to deal with that stuff. Because if I find that you're cheating on me, I'm whooping your arm. Mm -mm. I'm a friend. I'm a boop. The fuck? Okay. But hands up. Hands up. Don't shoot. <laughs> so, I really do want y'all to dig on. Um, like, my babies, our babies, we want y'all to dig on. Um, um, find your worth. Don't. If a man come to you, and I'm I'm glad that they was honest with me and told me that was a relationship already and stuff like that. But I'm not about to be no side chick, no side hoe, no nothing like that. I'm not about to be nobody on the side. I want to be the main, the only one. You're not about to tell me, oh, I want this, this, and that. And you got a whole girl on the side. Right again. I was like, oh, so y'all, she was like, I'll be all right. I'll get over it. You'll get over it. But when your girl find out that she gonna get over it, I don't like it. I said, "Oh no, you got to go." I said, "Thank you for being blunt. Thank you for telling me. Thank you for being honest enough." Because some people like that. Some people like being the side chick. I don't. I don't want to be nobody's side. Mm -mm. I don't do baby mama drama. But my, well, dang, he ain't got no kids. I mean, you do got kids with somebody, so I, I mean, that's understandable. Yeah, but, but I just don't involve me in, you know, we I'm around your kids and then. 
even if you don't have kids, I don't want to be or I don't want to be in no drama I with your girlfriend. Mm-hmm. I don't want to be in no drama with your girlfriend. That he ain't had no kids, and I'm just saying like. If you and your girl, like, he said his girlfriend had lived in a whole nother state. I said, okay, you're not going to move with her now. But then I mean, cheat on her. Go to her and get you something from her. You really want to find food. Mm-hmm. But, um. But, um, what if she wants to take into your new, if you get in another relationship for him, what you want to what kind of qualities and stuff you want him to have, or what can what should you expect him to bring to the table? Well, I expect him to bring to the table like honesty, mm-hmm. respect, and making me feel wanted. Like because I don't want to be going somewhere and you see other women that's not my size, or you see something that you like about that that other woman that's not about me. I don't want to be looking crazy. Mm-hmm. So make me feel like I'm wanted. Make me feel like I deserve, you know, I deserve it. Because I feel like your last relationship, you didn't have all that. I didn't. You didn't have honesty and stuff like that. Like, I just feel like honesty wasn't brought to the table from my last relationship. Mm-hmm. Uh, we didn't really go anywhere. But, like, we worked in the same area. So a lot of people knew. And, and y'all working men, at the same yes, time. Men did come into the, our, work, our workplace. But, like, I wouldn't cross the line. Mm-hmm. I didn't cheat. Mm-hmm. We have fight, a lot of fights. We argued a lot. But, like, that's another reason uh, about my relationship. I don't want to be arguing all the time. So, you don't like to argue. Mm-mm. You know how some girls like to argue and then, so they can get, like, makeup sets and stuff like that. So I feel like... That's point. I mean, if you do that, that's your business. But me, I don't... I feel like that's seek of attention. I mean, yeah, that's your man. I'm saying like... Because if you want to have sex, just say that you want to have sex. I don't know. I don't get it. Maybe we should have somebody that likes to do that and ask them that question. Come on to y'all. I really want to come to a place where we do this like a sort of show or something like that. Like where we bring like people... To come in like regular, it could be regular people like people from our families or friends or um, people that's known or something like that. Come and talk about the topics and stuff with us because some of y'all are really going through things. Some of y'all really want some questions answered and stuff. So we're going to choose a topic. Every episode going to have a different topic. We're going to talk about one specific thing so it don't be all over the place, stuff like that, okay? Because... Some of y'all be like, well, y'all see all over the place. Y'all need two more things. That's why I created Girl Talk. I thought you turned off this thing. It'll be all right. <laughs> That's why I created Girl Talk. So, um, we can talk about one topic and that be it in that video. And then go on to the next. So, we don't be that one confused. Okay? <sighs> that part. But, um... That's yeah, y'all. Mm-hmm. You got anything else to say for him? Not this food good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about the topic of air. I'm trying, y'all. I'm really hungry. But yeah, just know your self worth when you get into a relationship. Make sure that it doesn't matter if y'all been talking for two months. The difference between going out. That's another thing, yeah. But the difference between going out in places, in, like, in public, and y'all been, like, doing this for a couple months, and now you want to bring it into a relationship. That's how I feel like you should move instead of just jumping right into it because mm-hmm. most guys, some, most guys, I'm sorry to say it, but most guys want to jump right in. They feel like, oh, we hang out this one good time, then the next time I come over, we can fuck. Mm-hmm. Like, no, I don't want that. I want to be able to understand you. I want to be able to know who you are because if we ever do decide to get into a relationship and we do decide to, like, oh, sit down and actually have a talk and, oh, we're going to move in together type stuff like that, I want the, us to be on the same page. I want us to be to have that one understanding 
what, what this is what is going to happen. This is what we know we're going to do. No, you can't see the future. Nobody can see the future. Mm -hmm. But, excuse me. You trying if to you want to know, let me know. Right. And if you want to settle down and you want to do this the correct way, we need to have our priorities right. We got to make sure that we have respect for one another. We got to make sure we don't cross boundaries. We got to make sure the things that we're going to do in life together, if we're going to be in a relationship, we need to make sure we are on one accord. Mm -hmm. And that's like another thing. I just don't want to mess up one if I'm into a relationship. Mm -hmm. Mm. You done? Woo woo. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> but I ain't gonna say y'all. But yeah. And like, um, if his priorities is messed up, don't even talk to him. Because they already let you know that he trying to either use you or get what you got. Well, same thing. Friend. I need some more juice, bitch. Okay, hold on, hold on. I have this too. So, ladies and, ladies and men, don't let the things that you want in life tell you to achieve your fucking goal, woman or man, because women can be misdevious too. Mm -hmm. You have uh, some women out there that just don't give no fucks, mm -hmm. and they expect that a man should um should be responsible for paying your bills and stuff okay a lot a lot of women say men are dirty a, girls can be dirty mm -hmm. too i done seen some dirty sheep don't get me wrong some sometimes it could be grimy too but yeah But we gonna finish eating y'all off camera, whatever. Yeah. Um, let us know what you guys think. Yeah. Um, our social media is gonna be down below. If you want us, excuse me, you want got any topics you want to talk about in the next video? Make sure you guys either comment or put in our go to our social media and tell most of y'all that got us on at it here, subscribe here on us on my, me or her Snapchat. So just let us know what you guys think and. Comment below and inbox us what you want us to talk about. And um, yeah, and I always remember your head is always watching. So stay in your bag because the hey what send you in your mother freaking bag. And that's on what friend period. period. Cause y'all, I just had some shit that somebody was hating on somebody and bitch, they were what's in their bag, bitch. Okay. What about your own bag? Period. But um, yeah, I'm Tay. I'm Quaya. I'm gonna see y'all in the video.